to the hotline right now. We welcome in the 46 overall pick, the first pick for the Cleveland Browns in 2019. Greedy Williams joins us on the show. Yes, Greedy. Sir. Good morning. I should say good evening, my friend. I'm so used to saying good morning. First off, congratulations <laughs> and welcome to the Cleveland Browns. Yes, How sir. does it feel? Man, it feels great. You know, just being a part of the Cleveland Browns, man. You know, I'm up there with, you know, top notch guys. You got a John Dushy did a great job, you know, with building this building this team. You know, I'm just, you know, ready to get in, you know, learn the defense, you know, and be a big impact in that defense. And, you know, it's time it's time for Cleveland, you know, to change and we're going to the Super Bowl this year. Greedy, what does this mean for your family? I know that everything you have done, you say, for your daughter, for your mother, who sacrificed so much for you growing up to get to this point now where you've been drafted here in the second round of the NFL draft. It means a lot, man. You know, just growing, growing up and down the road, you know, just find out what high school I'm going to, trying to find out what college I'm going to. Then, you know, now we're here. Now, now, now it's not in our hands, so you let God you know, have his moment. You know, God, I feel like God placed me in the right spot, me and my family. And, you know, from the, from the Louisiana to Cleveland, Ohio, you know, y'all guys getting a, a whole lot of Louisiana fans coming up there. You know, I'm just, you know, happy to be a part of the Browns. You know, and um, yeah. I'm just ready, you know, just to come in and meet everybody and, uh, and you know, be a great impact on the defense. You know, and, man, I'm just overwhelmed and, you know, just happy for this moment right now. Hey, Greedy, Joe Thomas here. What was it like last night having to go to sleep after not being selected in the first round and then waking up today and hearing that the Cleveland Browns have traded up and selected you with the first pick in their draft uh, in 2019? I just told my mom, like my mom was the one who was kind of worried. I told her, don't just stay patient. You know, and somebody going to call, you know, they're getting a great corner, you know, who ready to come in and learn, you know, and get the work. So, you know, um, like I said, we didn't go the first night. I told my mom we got day two coming. So let's see what day two holds. And, you know, the Cleveland, I, I was, you know, Cleveland Browns first pick in the 2019 draft. You know, I feel like, you know, they picked a great corner, a great person. You know, I'm just ready to come up there and, you know, just to, you know, meet all the fans, meet all the coaches, meet all the players. And, you know, all of them welcome me in. And, you know, we do great things in Cleveland. Well, the first pick for the Cleveland Browns the last three years, Miles Garrett, Baker Mayfield, and now – Greedy Williams, a pretty good group there. Greedy, I got to ask you, as a young player, who was somebody in the NFL maybe that you looked up to, you idolized, and tried to model your game after? Uh, you know, coming from LSU, you know, I always look at the LSU great. You know, and Pat P, you know, played the same position as I did. Yep. So, you know, I kind of, you know, try to model my game at the heels. And, um, you know, going to, you know, Cleveland picking me, they get in a corner, you know, who – so who can come in and do those things that Patrick Peterson doing at you know, Arizona? And you know, I think it's time it's time for him, you know, just to you know, put me in those positions. Let's rock and roll. Greedy, have any of those guys reached out to you over the last year in, in mentorship and even when you started your career at LSU? And if you can name names, go ahead and tell us who. Uh, you know, um, Tyron Matthew reached out a lot. Pat P reached out a lot. Jamal Adams reached out a lot. Uh, you know, all the you know NFL great. You know, that played my position, reached out to me, you know, and just told me, you know, this moment here, they're going to come for you. You know, just got to stay patient. And, uh, you know, when that, name get, when that phone get called, you know, just, you know, live it up with your family and, you know, be a great player. So, you know, I'm just, you know, I listen to those things, and, you know, now I'm here living it. So, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of emotion going on right now, and I'm just happy, you know, just to be a Cleveland Brown. We're certainly happy to have you, Greedy, and you think about Louisiana State and obviously a lot of guys here, Odell Beckham, Jarvis Landry, guys, you'll be going against every day in practice. But in our opportunities to speak with them, where they came from has always been so important to them. And I know you talk about the 318 a lot and putting on for the 318. Why is where you're from so important to you? And you now have that real Louisiana bond here and a lot of Louisiana flavor on this Browns team. Uh, you know, um, 318 is not a big area in Louisiana, so, you know, we try to make we try to make the best out of it as far as, like, going to college and things like that. So, like I said, we you know, we got guys, you know, from 318 who are in the NFL right now, so that's a big jump, you know, just to, you know, show, like, you know, colleges and, you know, NFL teams that guys come from, you know, Shreveport, Louisiana, you know, they can play ball too. So, you know, just want to do it for the city more than anything, you know, and, um, you know, bringing, bringing the 318 to Cleveland Browns, you know, I think, 
you know, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a, a rocket a rocket stadium this year, and uh, we ready to get to work. There's a lot of guys in the secondary in Cleveland right now that have a lot of talent. You're joining a very talented secondary. They're going to have to sort out exactly who's going to be playing at what position. Do you see that your talents and skill set fits at any better at one cornerback position over the other or even at the nickel corner position? Uh, you know, I just feel like I, if they, um, wherever they put me, you know, that's where they need me at. And, uh, you know, I got the – I got the skill set, you know, to play outside. I got the skill set to play inside. But um, like I said, me and D. Ward, you know, we're going to team up, you know, and be the best duo, you know, in NFL and, you know, hopefully be you know, the two Pro Bowl corner that's coming out. Did you uh, – I want to ask you something. Is How big of a rival is Alabama to you? Uh, you know, that's a big rival, you know, just being from Louisiana. You know, going to LSU, you know, you know Alabama is a team, you know, that we don't, you know – don't like here in Louisiana, so you know, they always been a rival. And um, you know, just playing against them, I mean, they're a great team for sure. They got a great coach. You know, um, I feel like you know Louisiana State this year we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stop that streak. You know, that seven year streak winning that they got against us. We're gonna stop it. You know, and uh, I feel like we're gonna we're gonna be a great team this year at LSU. And um, it's time to rock and roll. It's time to stop that streak at LSU. Oh, that's a great answer, Greedy. Did you know your new head coach with the Cleveland Browns played quarterback at Alabama? I did not know that. You just gave me a reason to talk. You just gave me a reason to talk to him as soon as I get up there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> when you did get to talk with him and John Dorsey, what'd they say to you? Uh, man, you know, they were just like, you know, uh, you know, we're proud to have you. Um, you know, um, you know, is you ready to play in the cold? And I was like, you know, yes, let's do it. You know, they told me they put putting the card in, they traded it up to keep it. And, um, you know, I feel like they made a great decision. And um, it's, it's, it's time to rock and roll. Now it's time, to, it's time to do it. Greedy, we thank you very much for the time. Congratulations again. Enjoy the time with your family, and we'll be seeing you up here in Cleveland very soon.